While Kid Rock has certainly lived the high life in lavish properties over the years, in 2017 he sold his $9.5 million Malibu mansion and traded it in for a double wide trailer in Nashville, Tennessee. While it seems that Kid enjoys the simple life, the property still offers a sprawling 102 acres of land. Not to mention, he's also owned other homes, including a 6,000 square foot waterfront mansion in Detroit, which came up for sale recently at the end of 2021. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kid Rock is a singer, songwriter, and rapper whose music style alternates between rock, country, hip hop, and heavy metal, setting him apart from others. The self-taught musician also plays every instrument in his backing band and has been involved in the production on nearly all of his albums to date. With his outspoken political views, Kid is also known for his controversial statements and actions. While he's amassed an estimated net worth of about $150 million, he had decided to trade in his luxurious properties in locations like Malibu and Detroit for a much lower maintenance residence outside of Nashville where he was able to downsize and ultimately make himself happier. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the homes of country rap star Kid Rock. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. First, let's take a look at Kid Rock's former home, which he lived in from 2006 to 2017, which he purchased for $11.6 million. Located in Malibu, California, in the residential Point and Doom community, which is highly favored by celebrities alike, his former spread sat on 1.5 acres of land. It had the ultimate privacy thanks to the lush greenery that surrounded the home, as well as secure gates. Kid's former residence was entered through carved wooden doors and inside offered 8,300 square feet of space along with five bedrooms and multiple baths throughout. The home had an airy vibe along with many fresh white walls and floor to ceiling windows. There is also an ideal indoor outdoor vibe to take advantage of the stunning settings and serene interiors had figures inspired by the spiritual culture of Bali throughout. All of the white was complemented by dark hand carved wooden columns beams and doors to give an elegant earthiness to the plate. There was an open plan main living room with full glass wall on one side and elsewhere a cozier den brightened by high gloss beadboard walls and French doors that lead to the outside. His former crib also had a large gourmet kitchen with designer appliances and high wooden ceilings that seamlessly blended into the attached dining room and opened out onto an outdoor lanai area. At the end of the long rustic dining table, there was a detailed and carved mantel topped with candles and framing a fireplace. Elsewhere, Kid Rock's former abode boasted a large home movie theater, fitness studio, and a sauna. In the master suite, it was decorated with the same Bali-inspired atmosphere and the bed was draped with a flowing canopy. There were also two walk-in closets, a private sitting area, and a terrace here. The large master bath offered white walls, dark wood accents, and walls of windows, including a spa-like tub set within amazing views of the property. In addition to the upscale main residence, the property also came complete with a guest house that overlooked the pool and offered an outdoor shower. Elsewhere on the grounds, there was the focal point, a massive infinity pool that appeared to go on for miles. Kid Rock listed and delisted his Malibu many times since 2013, until he sold it at a loss for $9.5 million. While you might think anyone would miss a home like that, he chose to downsize majorly and said about this, It's not like I require a lot, you know, I've learned to downsize through the years and it's really made me happier. Now before we get into that, Kid Rock has also spent a ton of time living in Detroit over the years, considering it's where he's originally from. His former mansion there, a grand and traditional estate, popped up on the market in 2021 for $2.1 million. Located in a very exclusive subdivision in Detroit, his home was one of only a few in the area that also sat right on the waterfront of the Detroit River. In fact, the mayor of Detroit was one of the neighbors here, also on the water. Listing materials 
explained that Kid Rock's former crib offered a full and breathtaking view of the river, not to mention there was a handy boathouse with outdoor shower, jet ski lifts, and an upper deck ideal for entertaining guests. The boathouse and the shower were part of an extensive renovation in the years while the rock star lived here that also included an attached two-car heated garage and two outdoor TVs complete with a state-of-the-art entertainment system. The exterior of the stately home boasted white plank siding contrasted by black shutters, rails, and roofing. Once you've passed the security gates and the massive columns flanking the front door, the interior entry offered a sweeping staircase, beamed ceilings, and a sparkly chandelier. Throughout the mansion, there were multiple balconies that overlooked the grounds and a handful of living rooms, many of which were stocked with fireplaces. The gourmet kitchen was fitted with high-end appliances, including a large stainless steel range, while the formal dining room was painted in a bold red theme. Other features in Kid Rock's former mansion included a full bar, a games room, custom master bath, and lower level family room. Outside, the grounds covered nearly an acre of land, which was perfectly manicured and had sitting areas, patios, and benches for hosting guests. While Kid Rock has definitely lived in the lap of luxury considering some of his former homes, he more recently traded in the expansive mansions for a more low maintenance type of living. Despite his massive net worth, in 2017 the star sold his Malibu estate and instead chose to live his years out in a double wide trailer located in Tennessee. In 2015, reports claim that Kidd purchased 102 acres in the area of White's Creek just outside of Nashville for $800,000. While it was nearby to a multi-million dollar home he built on 68 acres, he ended up using this sprawling land as the location for his mobile home. The rock star had called Nashville his part-time home since 2005 and formerly split his time between there, his native Detroit, Alabama, and LA. Anyways, Kid Rock wanted to commit to a more simple kind of life, and while explaining why he loves his trailer, he said, If the trailer burns down or blows off the mountain, order another one. It'll be here in two weeks. It's very easy to clean, simplicity at its finest. Sure, you don't have some of the finer luxury things like big thick shag carpet, but that stuff's never really meant a lot to me. However, this decision, it all happened by a fluke. One time, when his car couldn't make it over the top of a hilly country road here, he stepped out of the car and took in the surroundings, falling in love with the views of the Nashville skyline. Apparently, when he found out that he could have his own custom trailer designed within a couple of weeks to place wherever he wanted, he was sold. His trailer was even featured in his music video for his song Poe Dunk released in June 2017. In the video, you can't miss his moss-covered trailer. Kid Rock has said he won't give up certain perks he's used to, like his private jet or his Rolls Royce you can see on the driveway. His trailer also features a pond out back that's ideal for fishing and wooden stairs to a deck with room to entertain guests or host barbecues and parties. His simple, cozy residence also shows off stunning views of Nashville from all sides. On the other hand, some fellow celebrities have claimed that Kid Rock actually has a massive 27,000 square foot mansion in Nashville where he specifically hosts parties, including amenities like a 20 person hot tub, a gold covered walk in shower, and an old church that was converted into a stable. Well, at least that's what comedian Theo Vaughn told Joe Rogan in an interview. So if it is true, maybe that's just where Kid Rock hosts his ragers. All right, now that we've checked out the homes of Kid Rock, past and present, that about wraps up this house tour. What did you guys think about him choosing to trade in his luxury mansions for a trailer? I mean, he is right about the low maintenance thing. Comparing his former mansions in Malibu and Detroit, did you have a favorite? Be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!